Oh, child, I started to come on here with a bonnet. I could have at least done that, huh? I'm all up in your grill so you can see the real. Hey, 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 hey. What's up, good people, a.k.a. winners? That's all we do. Hey, that's all we do. Hey, hey. I'm coming to you with another video. Coming to you with another video. Okay. I don't know what that was about, but you guys said that you wanted to see my routine and Uptown Funk, I'm gonna give it to you. Now, side note, I am having, I don't know what is going on with my hormones, but what I do know is my doctor was like, well, you can get on birth control. I was like, eh, eh, mm, eh, eh, no. How did, how did TikTok go? Eh, eh, mm, mm, no, eh, mm, mm, ah, ah, whatever, however it goes. But this is what my hair looks like. I do twist it every night. I just untwisted it actually, and I've been sleeping on it. So first things first, I do and I, I think I'm gonna do like a close-up as we're going but I use the Olaplex number three this is um, it repairs and strengthens it's like a bonding agent my stylist recommended that and then when I wash lately um, she also recommended that I use the Myel conditioning shampoo for dry and curly hair types that's me girl my hair is porous and then for conditioner I follow up with the and you probably can't even there you go I follow up with the Olaplex number five bond maintenance conditioner she told me to use this because especially with the curls and then with my hair texture and all that good stuff um, my haircut was done by I am Micah B she owns the press and curl bar in downtown Los Angeles I did a whole video of my big chop so check it out and then the other thing H2O girl this is a I will put the links of all this stuff in the description box okay so this was a um, a continuous spray bottle that I purchased from Amazon um, I did I want to get the Felicia leather hood brush but for now I got this brush from Cantu at Target and then I have these black clips which I got from some beauty supply I don't know and then what I use to um the air air girl air the oil on my scalp I use the do grow and I also use this to take out my twists now I wash I do a wash and go around um like the rest of my hair like the perimeter of my hair and up in here and then right here where all the hair is is where I do a twist out because I want it to be elongated otherwise baby we'll be walking around like this because uh my hair is like what did they used to call back in the day when I was growing up they used to say um can't you don't you can't you don't you snap back or something like that so anyway I got the snap back like 100% shrinkage okay so listen but this I use for my wash and goes this is the Aunt Jackie's flaxseed recipes don't shrink flaxseed elongating curling gel yeah this is what like hooks up all around here like it, I haven't even put any product I went to sleep on it and everything and it still looks juicy and I don't know if y'all if y'all can see this I've been messing with it I sprayed a little water too but I don't know if you can see but like it is so it has grown so much since I did the big chop now when I retwist my hair at night I use the Aunt Jackie's buttercream intensive moisture sealant and it is the coconut one the coconut cream I already have another one on deck back up okay so first things first um and I'm not going to show you me washing it but this bonding oh girl did I leave a twist hold up I left the twist I just untwisted it and my hair was really dirty so I was like it's time to wash it because it's not doing what it needs to do it's not giving what it needs to give so what you have to do is with this bonding with this uh I mean repair and strengthen maintenance but it's like a bonding product to bind your hair follicles together I guess or not follicles but anyway I'm not a hairstylist I was told to use it so that's what we doing it that's what we doing but you're supposed to use it um once per week but if your hair is damaged two to three times a week but because i cut off a lot of my damaged hair i don't go there okay and you're supposed to do it on damp hair so i'm not going to saturate my hair and there's another twist because i i didn't do anything to my hair today and here's the thing i think i'm gonna do this in like three segments so you guys can see my hair as it stretches over the next couple of days because that's when i love it the most like when it's time to wash it i'd be like why though why though you were doing so well and i'm not ready but i have to because she needs it and i can tell the moisture so it's supposed to be damp okay but you're supposed to put this on your scalp and because my hair is short like i just work it through with my fingers like real talk so you're supposed to just put this on your scalp 
this bonding agent and you're supposed to put it on your hair as well so because my hair is so short literally i just work it through with my fingers and then after i do this i will you're supposed to leave it on for like 10 minutes but make sure that you do get your edges because i do have color in my hair i you guys remember back in the day where they used to say um like pre-poo like it, i'm, I'm kind of looking at it like a pre-poo if you will so i'm just putting this on here and i need to look at the time and you're supposed to let this sit for 10 minutes but i think that's enough and then after i wash it and condition it and everything i'm gonna come back to you guys and then i'm gonna show you um what i do but i do not detangle with this product in i kind of like detangle more so when i get the conditioner in oh i forgot to tell you guys what i use on my edges um i'll show you it is this instant control y'all it's either this instant control um edge and braid gel with maximum hold or it's even but lately it's been this because this i could i could put that on put on a hat and then after i take off the hat edges are still laid i'm just saying like it just, girl you need that in your life but i do put this on my edges to kind of loosen that oh but <laughs> But at night, I do put the oil on my edges with my finger to loosen it up and to make sure that, you know, that product is just not just having buildup because my edges are very, very fine and I have to be careful. Years ago, I gave myself like a chemical burn right here and I just feel like it hasn't really like recovered from that. So I just try to take care of my edges, okay? Even if, I don't know if I said this, but even if I'm not going anywhere that whole day, I'll leave my hair twisted. I'll untwist it and retwist it that night with my buttercream just so it can be elongated but we'll be back okay so i just use a t-shirt but by the way here's a dis oh if you haven't joined the fan bam now's a great time to do so okay but um this is a disclaimer this is in no way turning into like a just mega hair channel or anything like that but i figured i would take you guys along for the ride right um it's exciting and new come aboard you know what i mean just come on the journey but now i'm about to take y'all on a fantastic voyage because i'm gonna stop talking and i'm just gonna show you guys what i'm doing this is just water let go This is pretty much what I do. Now, when you see me in the morning or tomorrow, whatever time, this is gonna probably shrink up to like right there, okay? But the reason that I don't use the buttercream first, I did try that I, I, and I'm learning my hair all over again. But the reason I didn't do this first is because I feel like this sets the tone, it moisturizes it, moisturizes it real good, has it real juicy, gets the curls popping. And then as I continue to moisturize it day by day, that's when I use the buttercream so that it doesn't lose its moisture and it just kind of I just keep twisting it and keeping the curls popping but um pretty soon I'm actually gonna get this cut down like I want it to be more of a wave instead of curls because it, it grew way too much like it, it was not this long when I got it but for now we're okay I don't really worry about the edges the night that I do my hair I'm actually gonna put oil on it I put just a little bit of this on there to kind of moisturize it I'm gonna put a little oil on it tonight and then this is pretty much what I do and because it's short I love the fact that drying time is like like little to none you know what I'm saying so I'm gonna put my bonnet on after like a couple hours let it dry and then I'll show you guys what it looks like when I take it off tomorrow then we'll retwist it and then I'll show you probably the next couple of days I'm thinking
confidence is key. You know what I mean. A woman feels good when she's looking pretty. I don't need no Benz, Lexus, or a Range Rover. Just give your girl a bomb, Tiki.